good afternoon, people. Um, so today I wanted to maybe like concentrate a little bit on the stigma and how us addicts are, you know, stigma and put like you know, um, we're put down and scrutinized sometimes, and and sometimes it's not even like we did anything. Um, it's just that people assume we're a certain way because of character defects or actions that we've done in the past or other people have <clears throat> like I have struggled with opiates for a long time and <clears throat> I didn't ever really ask for help for a long time and I didn't know there was help the first program I went to was jail diversion program um, and thank god like they're starting to do that for people who are in jail now because people don't deserve to be locked up because of, you know, they have a problem. And I was fueled by my drugs to go steal and to get stuff, you know? Um, but it wasn't because I was just stealing to see, I mean, steal, you know? And that becomes a bad addiction too, which I struggle with that sometimes right now from stores. Like, this is not for me, it's for me, yes, but it's also for other people. So, like, if you don't, if you're watching this and you don't like what you hear, then just change it. Don't say nothing. Don't leave nasty comments, please. So, <clears throat> you know, a lot of women, too, are looked at as caregivers. And I feel like people think that sometimes women have to be the rock in the center for family. And that's why women don't stay around in treatment and get help. Because, you know, usually you have children or feel like you have to be there for somebody but ultimately in the end if you're not there for yourself like nobody else is going to be there for you because if you're not taking care of yourself you know nobody's going to take care of you the way you're going to take care of yourself or, like I'm learning that my thoughts are different than they used to be but like the way I I'm learning to change the way I speak like swearing yelling I, I um, and then maybe that's probably because of anger and because of the stigma and the judgment that we, we are put through. Sometimes I go in a place and people, somebody looks at me because I might be manic and I'm really wicked hyper. And maybe I feel like defensive, I probably do. And I might be like kind of acting out and I don't mean to and I, that's the things I want to correct. I don't want to embarrass people. I don't want to make people feel like they can't be with me in places. But I also want to be able to act myself, and if I feel like I need to express myself, I'm going to. It's just within reason. But yeah, stigma. Huge stigma against addicts. You know, it's not even so much alcoholics, but addicts. Like, you know, like, oh, you're bad because you're a drug addict, or an alcoholic. Oh, you're a thief because you're a drug addict, or an alcoholic. Oh, you're, you're you know, you are a cheater, you're a liar, you're a thief, you're... You know, you're scummy, you're gross, you're dirty. All those things come with being an addict. And you know, that doesn't mean I'm gross, doesn't mean I'm dirty, doesn't mean I'm, I don't clean my body, doesn't mean I don't take care of myself, doesn't mean that fucking I go run around and spread fucking diseases and shit on purpose. On top of that, you know, like if I'm sick, I tell people. If I have a cold, I tell people. So, you know, sometimes you don't give that give that to somebody else, that, that, that little bit of information that can really help somebody. And it's fucking ridiculous. You know? So, I mean, yeah. Stigma, again, stigma. Going back to that. Woman, please. If you feel like you need to talk to somebody, there's so many different, like, supports. There is, at least in Massachusetts. You know, women, don't feel alone. Women, you're not alone. Women, don't feel if you've exploited your bodies. Women, don't feel bad if somebody exploited your body against your will. It's not your fault. Sometimes you, I put myself in shitty situations that I never put myself in because of the heroin. You know, and I'm doing this to help other people. This is not for me to get a pat on my back or anything like that. I don't want none of that shit. You know, so women, please don't feel alone. You can save your life. You can save your sister's lives. You can save your kids' lives. It's like, I have a hard time with that because of my kid. 
because I let her go for, uh, for adoption, so I have a hard time with that, and we're still going, oh, still going, oops, so yeah, I have a hard time with that because I feel like I gave up on my daughter completely, like, I did try, I went to numerous programs, I went to like three or four programs with her. Um, I had her custody, in my custody for like a year without DCF involved at all. You know, a lot of people fucking, you know, uh, people I know from my past, one in particular is very mean to me about it. Very, very mean. And I understand like they can't have kids, but like what makes you better than me to say these things to me? That's another stigma. You know? Like I didn't fuck, I didn't care. I let my kid go. It's not necessarily true, but you know who you are and you can fucking believe that. I don't give a fuck. You can kiss my ass. You can go somewhere else. And you will. Because you're not right. You're not right. You're not better than me. I'm not right neither, but damn. Fuck out of here. Anyways. You know, just walking back to where I'm at. Okay conversation today that's the thing too it's like we feel so alone we think we're stuck but you're not stuck you're not alone there's a lot more people like i can relate to than i thought than before and the more i speak upon things the better it makes me feel i don't feel so held down i don't feel so weighed down i don't feel so heavy you know like now I'm on MAT. People still say that's the stigma. You're not clean. No, I have five days clean today. Five days on the street, clean. Nothing. All right? And, you know, like, that's not a lot. But to me, that's huge. And, like, you know, I felt better today than yesterday. I felt better the day before than yesterday. You're just going to keep feeling better every fucking day. Oh. <laughs> That's like the third beef I got today. God damn. I got shit, Billy. What the fuck am I doing? Is he doing something? Shit. Anyways. Maybe it's my pants. Maybe it's the shirt. I don't know. So I'm just like, well, I'll give you a horny. <laughs> just play it. But, um, you know, you gotta have a sense of humor, especially when you become clean. It's really hard. It's not easy. It's not gonna ever be easy. But I want to make it easier for you if I can. You, you just don't even care. And you, you hear one fucking little word that I say that might spark something, then wonderful. I did my job. It's not a job. It's I did my I did my deed. It's never a job. Life is not a job. Life's not a game. All right, y'all. Stay safe. Stay sober. If you can call somebody. Save somebody's life, carry Narcan, please. Right? Just watch out for each other. Try to be better to each other.